Hey guys, welcome back to it and the fresh episode on wireless technology. So in the last video, we saw what was power management in the IEEE X02.11 Mac layer and some of the concepts we uh, seen in that. Now in this video, let's understand how power management basically works or what happens uh, in power saving mode uh, in the infrastructure network. So let's begin. So basically we have this diagram. So in this we have uh, three entities basically since it's an infrastructure network we have the access point we have the medium and then we have the station. Uh, now there are some terms that we'll see uh, in this video and we'll also see the operation how it basically works. So just a quick recap from the uh, past video or the last video from the power management we need to fill uh, this blanks. So uh, we'll just start. So in the infrastructure network, Dash is responsible for power management. Like in synchronization also, uh, some entity was responsible for synchronization. So in power management also, it remains the same. So that is called as an access point. Now access point buffers a data packet for all stations which are sleeping. So for all sleep stations, access point buffers a data packet. So this also we saw in the last video and access point sensor dash with a beacon frame. Now here you have some beacon frame with beacon frame you have some uh, additional component to be sent. So that is called as a traffic indication map that is a TIM. Now TIM holds a record of list of dash of the buffer data means uh, TIM has that kind of QR that kind of set where it holds all the buffer data and it needs to send it some places. So those places are called as the destinations. So it has a list of destinations where it needs to send all the buffered data. Now in addition to uh, access point also holds a dash interval that is called as a D TIM interval. So uh, this you can see here. So TIM interval is between these two lines and D TIM interval is just this big. So that D TIM basically stands for delivery traffic indication map and D TIM interval is a multiple of TIM interval. So if uh, TIM interval is 2, then D TIM interval will be 4. So it's a 2 times of TIM interval and all stations wakes up prior to an expected TIM and D TIM interval. Now uh, let's see the operation in this. So uh, in infrastructure network, we know the uh, medium uh, for transmitting is represented by this one and you have some stations and then it is connected with the help of an access point which controls uh, all in all uh, inside this network. Now uh, here basically uh, the very first scenario is that AP sends a B frame that is a broadcast frame and the stations say awake. So uh, this thing which you can see uh, this is represented by an awake so this represents an awake station. So here station all remains awake and then access point sends a uh, broadcast frame that is represented by this capital B. Now here capital D represents a D TIM interval whereas capital T represents a TIM interval. Now station receives the broadcast frame and it goes back to the sleeping mode. Now which is represented by here. So here you have some D TIM interval that is delivery TIM interval and then you have the broadcast frame then uh, if you can see here that the station remains awake till here. So it means that it can send the data and so busy uh, does not comes in between these two. So uh, it's somewhat uh, after this interval. So you can see that uh, the medium is not busy here and the station wakes up just before the next TIM interval. So the next TIM interval is something where here. So here it remains awake and then TIM gets delayed due to a busy medium and then stay uh, awake. Now here what happens is that if the medium uh, you sensed here is busy and if you want to send the data then what happens is basically uh, the TIM is basically delayed in this place. Now AP does not have anything to transmit and so goes back to the sleeping mode again. So uh, AP obviously does not have anything here so it just have the TIM interval and so it does not have any frame associated with it. So it goes again back to the sleeping mode which is represented by blank here. Now uh, in the next TIM interval what that is this one access point represents station that is destination for a buffered frame. So that is represented by this small d so that is data transmission to or from the station. Now uh, access point has got some buffered data so that buffered data will be going to which all stations that will be defined by this small d. Now the station say uh, awake that is this one and it notifies using a ps pole. So that ps pole is represented by this small p and it also has this destination that is small d. 
So here what uh, AP does is AP transmits the data whichever data it has to the station and then station in turn gives back the acknowledgement and also some other data and after this process uh, the station which is currently active it immediately goes back to the sleep mode only for a short time. Now in the next dim team interval that is uh, after this uh, phase if we want to send the data and if that medium is busy again then AP has even more broadcast frames to transmit and so it gets deferred by the busy medium and so the transmission won't happen. So the bottom line uh, what you can see is uh, if the uh, period to transmit or the uh, sleep mode or the sleep duration is very short then only at that time uh, it has to be awake and not after a uh, long interval it should be uh, staying awake. So uh, if uh, the medium senses uh, the sleep mode and it if uh, it's active only for a short duration then only at that time uh, you need to stay awake. Now uh, this brings us to the conclusion that if the TIM interval which is there it is short then uh, it's directly proportional to the delay so delay also will be short but uh, your power saving will be very low in this scenario. So well that was all regarding the power management in the infrastructure network so hope you guys enjoyed this we found out educate what in this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video